Uh, the best easy day shoe or recovery day shoe, I'm gonna go to... Right, shoe comparison I have for you guys today, we've got the On Cloud Eclipse up against the New Balance Super Comp Trainer V2 and the Saucony Canvara Pro. So we're gonna go through the key features, differences and performance and hopefully that's going to help you decide on which shoe is right for you. But before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. So some quick specs for you about these shoes. So uh, all neutral max cushion shoes, they're road running shoes, all plated or have some sort of element in them to stiffen up the midsole. Uh, price wise, all these shoes are $180 in the US. But in Australia, the prices are quite different, which I find quite astounding. So, Canvara Pro, it's $300 in Australia. The most expensive one in Australia is $320. And the cheapest one, believe it or not, is the Eclipse. And that one is $270 in Australia. Uh, now, weight-wise, all very similar in the weight category as well. So, Canvara Pro, 9.5 ounces or 269 grams. Uh, the Super Comp Trainer, 9.7 ounces or 275 grams. Uh, and the heaviest of them all, 285 grams in the Eclipse or about 10 ounces on the money. Uh, stack heights wise, so we've got the tallest stack height is the Canvara Pro. So 42 in the rear, 34 in the front giving us a 8mm drop. Super Comp Trainer, 40mm in the rear, 34 in the front giving us a 6mm drop. And the Eclipse has 37 in the rear, 31 in the front, giving us a 6mm drop. So lots of similarities there, especially throughout the price and the weight. For me, the lightest feeling shoe on the foot is probably the Super Comp Trainer. So in our uppers here, three very feeling uppers. So all using engineered mesh. Uh, so fit wise though, the Saucony Canvara Pro's fit is the smallest fit of them all, so it is a more snug fit, still true to size, uh, it's a little bit baggier and this is a longer shoe in the Super Comp Trainer, I would still say true to size, it's a very roomy toe box uh, and it's quite lengthy, you could consider coming half a size down with this, the rest of the shoe is, is quite nice and compact, uh, and then the biggest fitting shoe is certainly the Eclipse, so Definitely consider coming half size down. We've got a wide toe box, except the, the, the shoe itself has just got lots of volume in it. Lockdown wise, so the Canvara Pro has a excellent lockdown. I've had no issues with that one whatsoever. Not too bad in the Super Comp Trainer. So it's it has got a, a nice amount of padding there in the heel collar. That does a great job. It's just a bit loose in the forefoot, in the fit. Uh, and lockdown in the Eclipse, I've had a few issues with that. That's why you could probably consider coming a half size down. If you don't have a voluminous foot like I don't. Stepping comfort of all shoes is actually quite nice. Uh, if I've got to give a winner here on the upper of all these shoes, I'm going to pick the Canvara Pro. However, it's not the most breathable out of all three uppers, but I think it's the most comfortable and it's the best performing upper. Uh, and in our midsoles here, so all rocker geometry, however, all feel totally different so they're using their helion foam uh in the the eclipse so the way uh their midsole works here they they've got these clouds or these cloud tech phase these are the new shapes these clouds obviously collapse as you run and then they, they you squish them down and then you pop off and that's how this shoe provides its spring back or its energy return and that's how it gets its cushion uh and then you just roll through the foot strike on the top of the rocker there in the Super Comp Trainer, what you're going to get is your carbon plate and the energy arc that holds the shape of this shoe, so holds the shape in the rocker, and then you've got this crazy soft foam, so they're using their fuel cell, so this is the softest foam out of these sh uh, three shoes by far, so you're going to squish right down in this shoe and roll through on the rocker, so this one is very, very soft, and in the Canvara Pro, it's a dual density midsole, so they've got their super foam at the top, their power run uh, PB, and then they've just got their standard power run uh, in the rear at the bottom. Uh, they've got uh, their power run plus uh, sock liner as well. So these sock liners are excellent, market leading, uh, and that is sort of three types of foam that they're using in the Canvara Pro. Now this shoe definitely feels this, 
the stiffest out of them all and this is probably the firmest ride out of all three shoes. So the softest ride uh, and the most rocked shoe is the Super Comp Trainer. So, so soft but so rocker. This rocker is in a great spot and it's really, really nice to get the foot strike going. Uh, so, sink right down and just roll through the foot strike. Very nice. And in the Eclipse, yeah, you're still going to get a soft ride but not as soft as that. So, it's nice and soft down to a point of where these clouds collapse. Uh, and then it sort of firms up and then you sort of spring off to your next step. Uh, but yeah, it's not it's not soft squishy cloud like it's sort of sitting in the middle It's still quite soft and nice, but definitely nothing as squishy as the super comp trainer uh, And then this one we've got quite a I wouldn't say it's a smooth ride So obviously no outsole rubber on this but a very smooth ride but quite firm so you don't sink into this shoe at all so uh, You can't really feel much power run pb or much pop or energy return in this one it's a really dull thud and then the rocker at the front just sort of rolls you off the front so the rocker in this one is more towards the front of the shoe sort of the similar as it is in the cloud eclipse you can feel the rocker more in the convara pro than what you can in the eclipse but the most rocket sensation is certainly uh the super comp trainer okay best shoes for all these shoes so convara pro uh, for me, this is a tricky one, so it's a pretty efficient shoe, so definitely I think its best category is the long run. However, it's a bit, it's still a bit too stiff. I don't think it needs the carbon plate in this shoe at all. And I think it's too stiff uh, to use on an easy day or a recovery day. Uh, and the Super Comp Trainer, for me, best use, easy days, recovery days, and yes, long runs. So this foam is going to wear down pretty quick though. It's going to get really squishy at the end of your long run. So not super suited to that. Um, but for me, easy days, recovery days. And in the Eclipse, that last one. So yeah, this one for me, easy days, recovery days. And yeah, it's okay for your long run uh, as long as they're not too long. Uh, so all these shoes for me are not suited to any type of speed work. But if I had to pick one, uh, I would probably go the... Oh, I can't pick one, so I just can't pick one. For me, they're all in the same category. They could probably go up to tempo pace, but that's about it. That's as quick as you're going to get to them. But none feel snappy or responsive enough uh, to, to handle any type of speed work for me. Uh, the best long run shoe... Again, yeah, I think I'm going to go the Convara Pro Just. Uh, the best easy day shoe or recovery day shoe, I'm going to go to the Super Comp Trainer. Uh, the best daily trainer, the most durable shoe, is definitely going to the, the On Cloud Eclipse. Uh, so anyway, guys, that's it from me. If you've got any questions regarding these three shoes or how they compare with anything else, post them in the comments below. And I'll do my best to answer those ones back as quickly as I can. So that's it. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.